Hello, in this video I'm going to go over how to install um, packages uh, into your uh, Python using uh, pip. Pip stands for uh, Python installs packages and is a uh, very very important uh, package itself as it allows it's a package management tool which allows um, for the management of your various different um, packages, libraries, modules um, that you're going to be installing into your Python. So, uh, for this, uh, we're going to attempt to install uh, cryptography. Um, so, at the moment, it, this uh, cryptography module isn't installed. So, whenever I run this script, uh, which in theory should just generate a Fernet encryption key. Uh, whenever we run this, it says module not found because we lack the cryptography module. So we're going to have to install that. So first thing you need is Python itself. Whenever you install Python, the uh, pip uh, package is already uh, is automatically installed with it as it's so essential to development. So uh, once you've obviously installed Python and you know the version um, number, what you need to do is go to um, go to your shell. So if we go go to run and go to Python shell, it'll um, pop up the Python shell for the version of Python you're using. And what we need to do is find out where your Python is in your Python. Um, files are installed. If you know this already you can skip this step but if you don't and you want a handy way of knowing where your Python files are stored um, just do import sys which is a, another default package already pre-installed so you don't need to pip install you don't need to install that using pip. Um, once you press enter um, on that you're going to need to do sys.executable so this is going to find the path to your Python executable. Uh, so let's see. So my Python is installed. Um, let's see. So uh, you need to go to your C drive. So that will be here. So C drive um, users uh, myself and Okay, so obviously your C your uh, file path will be different depending upon where you where you installed it. Um, for uh, new users who who uh, may not see the app data folder, um, see the way it's sort of um, grayed out here. That means it's a hidden file, and hidden files are by default not shown to the user. Uh, due to uh, Microsoft uh, uh, or whoever owns their OS um, not wanting you to fiddle with them particularly. Um, so what you need to do in order to view the, the hidden files, you need to go to, go to your, uh, your, into your uh, finder or folder and then go to view and then go to hidden items. You want to obviously check hidden items and that will pop up a list of uh, that will show the hidden files. So app, you go to app data. For me, it's app data local. Um, and go to programs. And then we go to Python. And then Python 3, 3 6. Again, it's depending on your version, it'll be a different number. Uh, okay, so now we're in our. Uh, Python folder. Now we're not going to go into the Python w.exe. We're actually going to uh, navigate to the scripts folder. And here we can see that pip, the pip executable, um, the sorry, the the pip uh, package um, is present. Okay, so now that we've found our file path for our uh, pip, we can now load up the command prompt. So, command prompt. 
to get that on Windows, um, it's CMD, or type in command prompt into the search bar, press enter, and as you can see, we've got our lovely um, command prompt here. So, what we need to do, right now the command prompt is pointing to my um, user folder, which we don't want it to do. So, what we want to do is um, do change directory, which is CD, and we do a space, and then speech mark, open speech mark, and then your file path here. So just copy and paste it from the um, file, the file explorer here. Okay, and then close speech marks at the end there. Okay, so whenever you press enter, you should now see that the directory the command prompt is now pointing to is to the scripts folder. Okay. So now that we're pointing at the scripts folder, if you look at the um, scripts folder, you can see we've got pip here. So whenever I type, whenever I type pip, that's going to um, open the um, pip package and display how how um, to use it. So this would be your like um, uh, your help menu essentially. Um, okay, so so if you've got this far, you know that you've not, you're now pointing correctly to pip. So now, what we can do is do um. So now we can, we're going to um install our packages. The great thing about um pip is that it will get gather any um other required packages, the prerequisite packages you need to install and run the other package. For example, matplotlib requires numpy, so numpy will be installed as well as um, matplotlib. So anyway, that's that's the great thing about um, the package management system here. Um, but we're not installing matplotlib, we're installing um, cryptography. So uh, we're going to do pip install okay so we're doing pip install so as you can see the command there install pip install and then cryptography press enter and now it's going to say collecting cryptography from wherever the thing is and it's going to show a little download thing um so um da -da 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 -da. Installing collected. Okay, so the cryptography has been downloaded and it's been um, it's been uh, installed. Um, ignore the uh, red here. That's um, that's due to um, not having the MySQL connector, which is irrelevant. Um, so we're going to um, now see if we've installed this correctly. I'm going to click run module and the uh, key has been um, generated which means that the module has been installed. Uh, there's no um, no uh, module missing error present. Uh, so cryptography has been successfully installed. Now uh, there may be um, a slight issue maybe when installing um, when installing uh, modules uh, oh, when installing modules um, uh, regarding um, certain packages which may require you to manually install them but for the most part pip does an excellent job at um, installing and managing the um, uh, the uh, the packages themselves, so that's how you install a um, package using pip.